Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Queen's Wish to Conqueror, and we are back to um, this area up here, Collins, Conlin's Pit, so that we can do some more traveling here. Get some more land opened up. See what else we can find. We, we still have our fort over here we need to find. Oh, who are you? Um, well, they're Owen. I don't want to fight Owen. Mm, they give us no choice. Give us no choice. And... Too far away. Can we go up one more? Okay. Well, I almost took him out. Oh, that did take him out. Okay. Stunned. Bleeding. I'll go after the same ones. Why don't you? Okay, so that's four. Alright, so walk up to Alrighty. Come up here. Since you're all nice right there now. Do fire on you. Okay. Crit. And Walk up, shoot, that'll work. <laughs> Evaded. <laughs> All right, you should be able to. Oh, maybe not. Um. Done. Man, you missed. Bait it again. No, oh, you didn't. I did again. All right. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to kill you. Where was this two? I don't remember where this was. Is it on the map? Oh, down, drowning goal. Okay. That's right. Okay. So we're trying to make our way over to our crossing keep. <coughs> Excuse me. You see a group of young bald warriors. They have chain mail and axes, standard equipment for the vol. The heat doesn't bother them at all. They are walking through the sandy waste, but they seem confused and lost. When they see that you are outsiders and not fighting in their civil war, they wave. Talk to them. They are friendly folk, neither Macha nor Owen. They were nervous until they realized that you are a Havenite. They, Havenite. They left their farms to sign on with Haven's armies. This is very common. Uh, give them directions to a Haven fort. Fortunately, you have rebuilt one of Haven's fortresses. In the ball, you give the soldiers directions. Okay. Good. Uh, can we get down in here? Okay. I could have swore we went in here, right? But if we had, wouldn't that have been... Yep, it is. Okay, it just didn't... Um, all right. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, wait, we have something up here. What is this? 
This bull farm was abandoned shortly after the rebellion started. The Owen fled in one direction, the Macha in the other, and looters got the rest. You poke around, enjoy some shade, and sit and move on. So someone lost their farm. Sad. Uh, rebel territory to east. Is it really? You are close to the ruins of Crossing Keep, one of Haven's seven outposts on Sacramentum. The port spans a river, providing a safe po port for merchant ships. This was once a major center of trade, and thus gold, for Haven. Now this ruin is ready to be rebuilt, sending its gold where it should be sent, to you. Happily, General Achilia has already paved the way. You see the rights... The fires the Haven soldiers on the north side of the port. The Vol signed a treaty giving this land to Haven. Your mother's ships have dropped off soldiers, workers, and materials. All they need is the command to get to work. So this is our last fort. Yes. Can't go any further than this. Okay. So they built the fort. Oh, I gotta go up this way. To the north. Well, how? Okay. So you have to go in this fort through two different doors? Or is that a bridge? How could I see him to the north when I'm clear down here? Just them? Nope. There is a band of Owen rebels camped on this side of the river, keeping watch over the other side. There is a matching pack of soldiers on the other side, well-armed loyalists. The two forces constantly shout taunts at each other, while you are sure, secretly glad that they don't have to fight. Why you are sure they are secretly glad that they don't have to fight. Yep, I get that. Okay. What's in here? <laughs> Um, oh, what are you do? What are you, Merlins, doing here? Merlins, Merlins, Merlins. Uh, okay. Knock back. And all right, can we charm one of you? Charmed, good, okay. Um, oh, he's charmed. All right, he's one of our charmed. Um, can we get up here and do, oh, what? Oh, really? I swear, I swear, I swear. Charm resisted. All righty. Mm. All right, let's put a construct up here. Forty two, nice. Um, I should probably have healed him. Alrighty. Crit. Alright, um, now I'll heal him. Heal my Brutus. Alright, and you can put poison on him. Can we get rid of this one now? Yes, yes we did. Um, that one's done. Okay. Can we silence them or are they too far away? Yep, we can. Silenced, all right. That'll work. Um, that one's still charmed.
Okay. That one's done. That one's still charmed. Oh, why did I do that? Um, still charmed? Yep. Okay. Still charmed. Well, that charm lasts a long time. No, he's back. Okay. <laughs> and he was stuck there back there, so he wasn't going anywhere. All right. Anything here? You find the dried out body of a warrior. Maybe Macha, maybe Rebel. You can't tell anymore. Marilene's trapped a soldier here. The Marilene stole the body's coins and weapon, but they left a scroll to behind. Marilene's can't read. So what did I get? Scroll of life? Okay. <coughs> Alright, so I'm trying to get over to the north. Well, okay. So uh, the only way to get over here? Interesting. So I either have to come up through here or go right directly into the fort. I'm going to have to go into the fort then, it looks like. Come on. All right, so let's go into the fort. Here they are. Well, this isn't a very big four compared to the other ones. Well, of course, I'm not. I'm not in it yet. You approach a band of workers, some haven and some bowl, who are camped outside, crossing keep. They are waiting for the order to begin work. You tell they tell you to go to the middle camp and talk to Chief Gansky. Okay, here he is. You approach the camp. There are a bunch of haven workers sitting by the fire. Banning, um, banning themselves to keep cool. The moist breeze from the ocean doesn't give much relief from the bowl heat. When you get close, the young Havenite, Havenite leaps to her feet. She is vibrating with energy. She runs forward and kneels at the same time. Skidding to a stop in the dust in front of you, she says, I am Chief Lisa, I am Chief, Chief Lisa Gansky. We're ready to work. Give the order and we will rebuild Crossing Keep. How did you get here? Well, by ship, obviously. General Akila had a boat drop us here. We sailed by Tabala. The Masha waved at us as we went by. They like Haven. I need you. I need you to tell me to tell us if we like them back. What will the Bell think of us rebuilding this fort? Depends on which ball you ask. The Owen are scared that we'll crush the rebellion and make them all slaves again. The Masha want us to win their war for them. She shrugs. You make the hard decisions. I just follow orders. I give the order. Get to work. Chief Gansky turns and starts shouting. The order is giving. Move into the fort. We sleep under a roof tonight. This, well, that's only if I build houses, right? The sweaty soldiers and crafts folk rise to their feet. And I got an achievement. Master of Empire. Hmm. Um, rise to their feet with a cheer. Then they flood into Crossing Keep. You can now collect resources from my job. Yeah, we already know all that. These ha Havenite, Havenites are gathering their tools and weapons, readying themselves for work in Crossing Keep. Okay, so now I want to come in here. All right. Our last fort has been built. Yay. Yay, yay. Okay. I don't know if I have anything left for, to build anything with. Because um, a blacksmith... Um, this is the pocket carry where that would go. Pocket carry is, I can do that. And blacksmith is too. We won't go ahead and do those. 
So my pocket carry is going to go here. Okay. Now I got one in every every place, and I just need to set up my. And that's going to go over here. Um, blacksmith. All right. I should not be able to get all of my. Um, Yep, I can now, oh, there's more stuff here. But these are all two-handed, or, yeah, these are two-handed weapons. I don't want a two-handed weapon. Two-handed, two-handed, two-handed. These are main hand. But they're, what I have is, well, maybe not. This is 250, 47 to 69. It is better than what I have. I have to think about it. Um, okay, cool. So we got everything. Um, okay, shops there. Okay, this is the command center. This is as far as this goes. I'd have to go across the river to open these up over here. Okay. Oh, come on. Move. Prison. Or just a tower. Way out. I can trade. Is there somebody named here? Oh, trader. That's unusual. Usually there isn't somebody out in the field. Um, okay. This quartermaster, a crossing keep. Oh, it's the quartermaster. Hmm. Is sitting at the docks catalog cataloging boxes of supplies. An occasional small boat sails up the river, bringing the supplies to trade from nearby quarries and farms. Your, shoulder, your soldiers trade fiercely to get your fort everything it needs. Still, you get, this, you get his immediate attention. Welcome, Princess. I am Quartermaster Chilean. This is a great honor. I am doing my best here, but if you have any extra directions, I will get you what you need. Tell me about yourself. I am a humble quartermaster. The queen selected Chief Gansky to come here, and she brought me along. A great honor. Sacramentum is a glorious project. I could use rest and supplies? We expected that. We set up a bedroom for you upstairs in the main hall, across the river. As for equipment, we have nothing better than what you already have, and I keep hearing that all the time. Um, exchange resources. Oh. So we can do... I will send some excess quick serve to you. Uh, I need some items. There's one iron gold for quicksilver. Okay, so I can do exchanges here too. Interesting. Okay. So no quest from him. Okay. And who do we have here? We've got we got two people. Oh, we got several people here. Um, I'm in Haven. This is John Alborg. Al 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 Inside this fort, this dilapidated trading hall is getting some attention. The broken windows have been replaced. Two of all, an old man and a young woman repair cracked floor tiles. At the counter, an old bald haven havenite is carefully placed. Painting a small sign to go on the door. They are so involved in their work that they have not noticed you. It is I, Princess Corinne. The bull remain focused on their work, but the old man stops painting and looks up. His eyes squint, and he steps closer to make sure his, the insignia on your chest is real. A good day to you, Princess Corinne. He bows. Forgive me, my, not nearly. My knees are a bit touchy. I am John Alboard, Haven's Way Agent, fresh out of retirement. And what are you painting? He shows you the sign. It reads, Haven's Way. 
in debt? Inquire further within. He says, clearly I was no painter before I retired, but, it, but it'll do. It means this hall will be the Haven's Way Ball Outreach Office. Um, and who are they? Alvord smiles proudly. That is Rufus and his oldest daughter, Portia. His workshop is burnt his workshop burned during a skirmish at the start of their civil war. He was left heavily indebted, trying to rebuild rebuild enough for two lines on his cheek. He and his children were to be Owen. Well that's unfortunate. But there is a happy ending. Rufus was about to turn himself over to the Locomacha when he happened upon me first. We came to a mutually beneficial arrangement. He paid off his debt with our coin, and Haven has a skilled local craftsman to help us rebuild at a heavily discounted and fixed rate for only 10 years. That's a better outcome mm -hmm. than life servitude plus his daughters. Uh, what is the Vol Outreach Office? We buy the debt of poor Vol, so no matcha can turn them into Owen. At your raised eyebrow, he swiftly adds, It's called indentured service. They work only for us for a by, for a variable length of time, depending on their debt load, usually around 10 years. We even provide a small fixed income. Then they are free. Well, that's a good system. Actually, that's something I could get behind myself. Um, what do you think of the Owen system? Officially, Haven's Way doesn't have opinions about such matters. Unofficially, people work hardest when it is for their own benefit. True, so true. Forced lifetime servitude across generations, besides leading to grotesque abuses, is contrary to maximizing returns and efficiencies. Their system should have been abolished or heavily reformed. I so agree. What do the matcha think of your efforts? Honestly, I hope they do not know. I suspect they would not approve. We are competing with them, and our way is superior, superior so, since it benefits Haven with skilled workers and indebted vol since they don't become Owen. Oh, excuse me, I can't talk. Fortunately, I know the matcha. Their honor will forbid them from asking us directly about this. If you stay silent too, I can continue recruiting vol at favorable terms. Do you ever buy it, Owen? No. His shock is genuine. The, o the queen made it clear we are forbidden to buy Owen. Yet she's the one who supported this whole mess. Hmm. I obey. Unless her representative here, unless her representative here, you, my princess, decide otherwise. Start buying Owen, but keep them as Owen. Start buying Owen, then set them free immediately. Hmm. Start buying Owen. No, I don't want to buy Owen. Maintain the Queen's policy. A wise and prudent choice. Our way is superior. Eventually, it will cut out their supply of Owen. The matcha will be forced to change. You stop listening to the flood of words before it ruins the warm feeling you got from making a prudent choice. Eventually, he stops talking and excuses himself to finish painting the door. Okay, interesting. So even though she supported them, okay, so they're not going to talk. So even though she supported them, she didn't agree with Bayan Owen. Hmm. Yeah, mother, 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 you're contrary. You also didn't believe in it. You just wanted the money is all it is. That's what it all comes down to. Scroll of Mercy. Um, we're getting a lot of these. Okay. So let's talk to... Well, no one here. It should go outside. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, soldier, townsperson... Okay, so we got Chief Gansky, Haven Soldier. All right, let's talk to Chief. You find Chief Lisa Gansky. Since you met her outside, she has settled into an old desk, cleared away the trash, and gotten to work. She leaps to her feet when you approach. Hope the work is a per is proceeding to your liking, Princess. I am ready to give you 
my formal report. Um, sure, I will accept your report. All right, we found that Demacha left our land alone while we were gone. We have cleared the bulk of the scorpions who settled here and restoring the fort and Cropland is proceeding well. The fighting between the Owen and the Macha has not come close to our claims. I think they both want to avoid angering us. The situation is very touchy. And how are things touchy? Both the Owen and the Macha want Haven to keep them to help them with the war. If any of them suspect that we want to side with their enemies, I'm afraid they will attack us and burn Crossing Keep to the ground. That is why I must sadly make some requests in my role as chief, I mean. And what can I do for you? My private counsel was that the bull will not be a good vassal as long as this war continues. However, the two opposing forces are in a stalemate. Applying the pressure of the South Battalion may be necessary to forge a good vassal here. Also, if you ever have time, there is a small matter I will need a ruling on. So how did you end up here? Her face lights up. I was serving as a chief in a more settled land, and I heard rumors of a big secret project. Hush, hush, high status. I asked around, and I learned what was going on. Sacramentum, the dream. I made a plan. I made a plan. Plan. I made a pain of myself, and I was chosen for this mission. Well, you're a little nutty for that, but tell me about your past service. She tells you, it's a lot of posts, a lot of difficult situations, a lot of success. You can see why she was chosen for this mission. Who chose you to come out here? The queen. She chose the chiefs and officers who came to the bowl herself. So you met my mother? Yes, can you believe it? I was giving my orders by her personally, from her own hand. She has a lot of interest in the bowl. It's always been Haven's most profitable vassal on Sacramentum, and she wanted it looked after. Anyway, that is my story. I hope my experience is suitable for your needs. And how are things with the bowl? The Macha and Owen stare at each other, and we're right in the middle. You will find both sides very touchy, afraid, quick to anger, also desperate for your help. You'll prob probably be offered a lot of quality bribes. This reminds me, there's a bit of policy that needs to be settled. I don't have the rank for it. Any thoughts on dealings between the Macha and the Owen? Well, when I learned I was coming here, I read a lot of reports by chiefs and officers who served here. It was enlightening. And what did you learn? They all expected the Owen to rebel. Every one of them, the Macha have been getting Greedier for generations, fewer matcha, all richer and softer, more and more Owen, all angrier. It was only Haven's help that kept the rebellion from happening. Then the calamity happened. We left and she shakes her head. And what guidance do you need? When the rebellion started, lots of Owen ran away, many to fight, but a lot of them just wanted to be free. A lot of their refugees have come here. I need to know whether to let them live on our land or not. If we do, there will be some expense. We don't have the spare gold to buy provisions, but we can trade stone. And what have you been doing before now? We've been letting them stay. We didn't want to start hunting refugees. However, there really are a lot of them, more all the time. We will have to make stone, we will have to trade stone for food to keep order and keep them from starving. And what are your thoughts? Putting aside that letting them stay will cost precious gold? If we let them stay, it may anger the matcha. Kicking them out will infuriate the Owen. It all depends on which side you want to please. You see, I'm sure, you see, I'm sure why I couldn't make this decision. Mm-hmm. I sympathize with the Owen. Trade stone for food and give them refuge on our land. Understood. The Owen will be very pleased. Our soldiers and quartermasters less so. I will make sure that they don't interview with Haven's business. Thank you, Princess. I'm glad to get this settled. Um, how are you doing getting resources? Gillian is a cunning trader and she is doing well getting wood, stone, all that sort of thing. There are plenty of surviving colonies and farms around who appreciate Haven's business. There is one disappointment though. We thought Conlin's pit would be happy to see us return. They aren't. What is Conlin's pit? A Haven community. Haven Knights have bought and operated a quarry before the calamity. They're still there. We thought they'd be happy to see us return. Instead, they turned my messages away without a word. Oh, I already visited them and spoke to them, so, so there are still Haven Knights there? 
Yes, they're still there. They've been surviving all these years, trading with the bull. We thought they'd be happy to see us return. Instead, they turned my messengers away without a word. What do you want from them? Stone, they are Havenites, and Haven is back. They are under my protection now, and they have to pay the taxes. All Havenites do. Someone has to go out there and get them to obey my, our laws. I'll try to visit them and see what is happening. I appreciate it, Princess. I'm sure a brief visit from royalty will all them into submission. Um, okay, so Conlin's pit, and I got a, um, I didn't get a quest on that. Conlin's pit is back in the fold. They will be ascending stone. And the first shipments have already arrived. We are most appreciative for the help, Princess Corinne, also for teaching those ingrate to remember their duty to Haven. Any other ideas for where to get resources? I would go to Thabalin, Dablin, and Madraka. Both the Owen and the Matcha are desperate to bribe us. Might as well take advantage of it while we can. Okay, so that was a quest done and done. So that was the only quest she had for me. Hmm, so who's upstairs? Other than these books that need to be read. I assume there's going to be a... Okay, I know one of these is my rooms. That's not my room, but this one probably is. Yep, because there's a box there. Nothing in it. Oh, there's another door here. I almost missed it. Okay. So, Treaty of Vassalage between... Here is outlined the Vassalage contract between the mighty Empire of Haven and the Bull, between King Carl, Carl of Haven and the Council of the Balin, elected representatives of the Bal Macha. Haven declares that the ball is a favored vessel with all protections included. An attack on the ball is an attack on us. Thieves and rebels in the ball are an offense to Haven and will be removed from trade between our powers guaranteed. Uh, in return, the ball disagreement will last. Okay, we already know that more or less. And this is Sage Alelia. Uh, notes on DK. Queen Sharon the Third is wise. She is a pillar of justice among the rulers of Haven. Thus, I can write these notes without terror. This has not always been true. Haven is small. Our soldiers are few. If a vassal truly does not want us there, we can always be driven out. Thus, we have to find a group that will protect us and keep us there in return for what we give them. What we promise what we promise to give them, but that promise can never be kept, because there will always be another monarch, maybe one cruel or inept or insane, then one promises, then our promises are broken, but we're dead, so we don't see it, the people of the vassals, they feel it, their opinions were never asked, hmm, that's very true, every new person in line would have a different way that they would see this, wouldn't they? So, um, why am I going to all this work for this then? Because hmm? it's a game. Because it's a game. Alright, let's talk to the sage. Alea? Hmm. The sage of Cra Crossing Keep is sitting at her desk, sorting through piles. Of so everyone here is a female so far. Um, sorting through piles of records. Most of the scrolls are old records that have been crumbling in these shelves for 40 years. She mutters, why... Why is Gansky making me deal with this mess? It should all be burned. Then she sees you. Oh, Princess Corinne, my apologies. I am Sage Alea. Welcome to the fort. I hope it's, it's all, um, all right? What is your job here? The Sage. Letters, records, battalion history. I take care of all of that. Nothing important enough to bother you. Have any leads or useful information? Have any leads or useful information in treasures? Really? You're asking if any of these trash scrolls say where treasure is? Well, it does happen sometimes. Well, not lucky. Well, no luck. I'm sure there are mighty artifacts out there, but I don't know where. My only treasure is wisdom. I study history. I am working on a theory for how Haven works. And what theory could that be? Her face falls. She suspects that she's made a mistake telling you. I, I've been researching. I'm working on an idea. The theory of inevitable decay. And what is the theory of inev an inevitable decay? She is nervous. Oh, it's a, um, a challenging idea and very undeveloped. It's not worth wasting your time. I promise you that is fine. 
Alea sighs, trapped. It is just an idea about Haven and its vassals. It is that, well, that when a nation becomes our vassal, no matter how good things go, we bring ruin to it eventually. Hmm. What sort of ruin does Haven bring? In berries, of course. War, starvation, poverty, chaos. Some think, well, not me, but some say are supporting the matcha for so many years kept the Owen system going until war was the only way to resolve it. That's very true. Very, very true. Um, why does the ruin happen? Sometimes Haven gets a king or queen who is mad or cruel. Not Queen Sharon, of course, but you know, history. Even if the king or queen is good, if they can put a bad governor in charge, or they can make a big mistake, or enact bad policy because they're dumb or don't care. With wisdom and careful management, the ruin doesn't have to happen. But that's impossible. He must make mistakes. If being perfect is the only way to make a system work, it's a bad system. She remembers who she is talking to. I mean, some people say that, not me. Hmm... You're lucky I don't have you. That's an interesting theory, and I kind of agree with you. Thank you, Princess. Of course, it's just a theory, and I don't believe it. Please, don't tell the Queen about it. I'll get, I'll get back to work now. Hmm. But it is a, it's a very... Um, so there's no... What is... So that's it. Um, okay. So no quests. Of course, I'm kind of towards the end of the... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Wrong way! Wrong way fully. Okay, here we go. So, the only quest I got, I already did. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to go out here. Um, wait a minute. Which way do we need to go? We need to go out this way because we need to go down this way. Mm hmm. See if we can get ourselves in any more trouble. Um, go wandering around. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but that's what happened. Okay. Interesting looking plants. Hmm, what's down here? I better save. There is a band of Owen raiders here. They are very bold to be so close to the ba the Dabalin. They Then again, they are also very close to the Old Haven Port to the south. When you come close, they grab their weapons and guard their stone barricades. Their leader says, I'm Rhea, and this is Freeland. What do you want, Havenite? I want to know more about you. Well, we are free Owen, and we, and we want all the others to be free too. This was Haven, Haven's land, but we're claiming it now. Stay back. Really? Uh, shouldn't you have permission to settle on our land? Then you should give us permission to use it. You abandoned it before we were born, and we're in our rights to grab it. We are... We're in the right. Hmm, I want to talk about you being here. Rhea nods. You're from Haven, eh? Well, you're fighting for freedom... Well, we're fighting for freedom here. The Macha won't attack us when we're on this land because they don't want to anger Haven. They think this is your land, even if it's not. We need to watch the enemy from here, and we're not going. Hmm. It's all right for you to stay here. Rhea is shocked. She isn't sure how anything could ever improve. Really? This is good news. We fight for freedom. The Macha will never stop until we are all slaves. I hope you remember that our cause is true and just. You depart, and they return to watching their enemy. Okay. So that's what that was about. Filling in more land. Interestingly enough, um, there is a band of bold loyalists camped on this side of the river, keeping watch over the other side. Their arms and armor are of high quality. After all, they fight for the matcha, who are all wealthy. There is a matching pack of scruffy rebels on the other side, well armed. The other side. Well, on loyalists. The two forces, yeah, okay. Um, we already kind of know that. What is this? Is this where we're getting to? No, this is, um, Judgment Hall. 
Ooh, this is a new one that wasn't on here before. Judgment Hall. Uh, yeah, so on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, we'll be going through Judgment Hall. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.